Are you going to install solar PV panels to create the electricity to air condition your home? Then you have to see this first. There are now radiative cooling panels available that save two to three times as much energy as a solar panel generates given the same area. Cooling indoor spaces takes up a lot of energy. In fact, 25% of the energy consumed today is for cooling. It also amounts to around 10% of the greenhouse gas emissions, both direct and indirect combined. Imagine yourself in a household in a hot climate region and you will be able to appreciate the amount of energy spent in cooling. A four bedroom house in places like Texas, North Africa, Arab countries, South India, or many other regions, etc., can consume upwards of 25 kilowatt hours per day during summers. If you look at commercial cooling requirements for industrial refrigeration, data centers, and commercial air conditioning for offices, they alone cost around $200 billion of electricity annually, not to mention 160 trillion gallons of fresh water is also lost annually in cooling towers. And this is rising, that is the energy used for cooling is going to go up by 10 times by the year 2050. So it is definitely worth investigating efficient cooling methods that can cut down the cost of both energy requirements and cooling infrastructure. We get a hint to a more sustainable method of cooling looking at the past, more specifically at Persian ice houses or yakhchil. They used evaporative and radiative cooling structures set up more than 2000 years ago to make ice and freeze the harvest. The cold of space was used for heat exchange. So in the past, if they were able to refrigerate without any electricity, then why cannot we do it today? Based on a similar principle, researchers at Stanford University developed an optical film that emits more radiation than it receives. And as a result, it is always cooler than its surrounding, including the ambient air. The remarkable property of this film is that it works during the day even when it is exposed to sunlight. How does it work? Well, every object releases heat in the form of infrared radiation. So in a room, a table remains at the same temperature because the amount of infrared radiation it emits is also equal to the amount of radiation it receives and absorbs. Likewise, objects present outdoors receive radiation back from the atmosphere, particularly when it's cloudy. We see frost on surfaces after a clear night because the infrared radiation emitted by the surfaces on a clear night leaves the atmosphere and less amount compared to what has left is received back. As a result, the surface gets cooler. And this is what radiative cooling is. But what if we make the surface properties such that it reflects all of the radiation it receives and even emits the radiation for the energy it has got due to its own temperature? What if we make the surface emit this radiation at such a frequency that rather than being captured by the atmosphere, it goes through it to space, never to be bounced back? Well, it turns out researchers have just developed that surface, that is one which reflects all incident radiation and emits infrared radiation between 8 to 13 micrometers in wavelength that are not captured by the atmosphere and leave Earth, escaping into the cold outer space. This allows the surface to exceed a temperature difference of 10 degrees below the ambient temperature in hot and dry climates. It is for this very reason that the optical film is called super cool material. One of the exciting things about this film is that it can be applied over existing cooling systems and instead of using the cooling towers, panels can be created and the refrigerant can be passed through them. So far, the experiments have shown that the technology is more effective than cooling towers in bringing down the refrigerant temperature. A company called Sky Cool Systems is already operational. So if you are planning to install solar PV panels with an objective to cut down your air conditioning bills, then radiative cooling panels might be a better choice. These can provide 80 to 90% reduction in energy required for cooling. Not only will this technology reduce the energy bills, but also reduce a surge in demand for power hungry refrigeration and air conditioning as the world warms. Some enthusiasts have gone as far as to suggest 
that the materials might be considered a part of a geoengineering strategy to help Earth shed the heat to counteract global rising temperatures. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.